Today we're going to be comparing two Kuyana bags to two Pelen bags. I feel like Kuyana flooded my Instagram feed and my YouTube feed not too long ago, I'd say like four years ago, but for the past year or so, I haven't really seen any new reviews on their newer product line. So I'd like to see how they compare to Pelen as far as what I'm looking for in a summer bag. Kuyana is a female-owned business based in California with this huge focus on sustainability. Their mission is fewer better. Um, you know, their timeless classic look is aimed for your pieces to grow with you. Um, and something important to note is that each piece, well, each leather piece can be monogrammed. So Pelen is a family owned business. They're based in Paris and their products are handmade in Spain. They're also shipped from Spain, FYI. Their look is a lot more structured and they use a lot of great curves and lines in their products, which gives everything a much more elevated feel. And I'm not sure if it's important to any of you, but I did want to just kind of give some bonus info on what the shipping and packaging and quality control was like, at least in my experience. I bought these bags out of my own pocket. This video is not sponsored. <laughs> so for Kuyana, I selected free ground shipping and that took eight to nine days, which I felt was a little long. I think the estimate was five to six days, if I'm not mistaken. I'll just double check that. The ground shipping option is free, so I do understand why it may have taken longer. As far as Polen goes, their products do come with a shipping rate. It's $20 shipping per bag, and I ordered both those bags in the same order. So my shipping came out to $40, but it was predicted to come in, I think five days, and it was shipped after two days of my order and it arrived within one day, and this was coming from Spain. Also really important, Polen requires signature upon delivery. Kuyana does not. Everything I'm reviewing today is, these are great products. You know, I'm not gonna take that away, but I'm looking for a specific summer bag that can travel along New York City with me. Um, so I'm looking for a few things in specific that you may not be interested in. Um, these are all towards my summer needs. I need something very durable. I wanted something in like a camel color. I want something that goes with any outfit and it has to be easy to use, especially walking the streets of New York City. So the first bag we're gonna look at today is a Kuyana top handle crossbody bag. It's this one right here. This is a really nice bag. As far as the color, this is in the color cappuccino. It is Italian pebbled leather. It feels really nice. Actually, the leather is really, really soft. At the time of filming this, this retails for $248. And I do think the price is reasonable for what you're getting. Now taking a look at what this baby can fit. That's what it's like, right? When you take it out of the dust bag, obviously you have to adjust the strap to your liking, but the quality on this bag is just much better. There are still imperfections though. The gold hardware looks fine. Everything else looks fine. I think when you set this bag down, um, you just need to be careful where you set it down, but I'm curious to see what it fits.
And as far as bulging, there is some bulging here up top. Um, but it's not too bad. When the purse is overstuffed, it seems like this pocket kind of opens. So no matter what, I think we're gonna see some misshaping. I think I have to reevaluate the way I stuff my purses. Okay, this is an example of something I would probably wear out. I wore it last week. Excuse my dirty sneakers. And this is a lot better than I expected it to be. As far as color combo, you can wear it a couple ways. I'm wearing it as a crossbody now. You can definitely wear it off the shoulder if you prefer that. Um, this is kind of like a perfect example of how I'd wear it. Color is a lot easier to blend than I thought it would be. I'm happily surprised by what I'm seeing right now. Um, wow. Happy surprises. So our next Kuyana bag is the mini double loop bag. I was really drawn to the shape of it. It seemed very easy to use, easy to wear. Take it on the go. You can take it on a hot day, not have to worry about maintaining it. Um, it, it just seemed like a very practical bag for me and it looked really, really cute. So this bag is in the color caramel and this is also a textured Italian leather. It was made in Turkey, just like the other Kuyana bag. And this retails at the time of this video, this retails for 228. Sorry for my manicure. Um, I was in a rush trying to get ready for this video. But right off the bat, um, you know, the feel of the of the leather is nice. It's soft. It feels durable, but let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. The Like, if you notice the edge banding is it's just not very consistent. This does fit everything I need. This little dent isn't cute though. Um, yeah, so it looks like it, if you overstuff it, obviously, I may need to get a card holder, but because of the shape and the texture of the bag, I don't think it looks too bad. My only concern is the durability. Okay, this, it's so cute. Honestly, I love the size of it. Again, it can be worn a couple ways. The strap is adjustable. I do love the size of it. I love how simple it looks with an everyday outfit. Sorry, I had to put my hair up after eating. It was irritating me. Um, you know, there's not much I can complain about. All right, switching over to Polen, we have the berry bag. I think it's so cute. It is so cute. Um, we'll just do a quick overview. This camel color is amazing. Um, it's full grain calfskin leather, and this is made in Spain. These bags are handmade, and at the time of this video, it retails for $320. Let's see what fits in the bag. So you do have to kind of unlatch it like that. And there is a magnetic strip. I don't mind that at all. Um, I think my only issue with this bag is the bottom and you'll see why in a moment. I 
think my biggest issue with this, I mean, other than being able to see what's inside my purse, um, is this purse, because of this bottom, curved bottom, does not stand on its own. So it would have to be hung. Um, if you want to travel with those little pops, I'll link those little like table purse hangers um, in the description box. But yeah, it just seems very impractical. And it kind of gets lopsided when you stuff it too much. This, okay, I have not readjusted the bag. Mostly because it seems very complicated. Let me get you in focus right here. It seems very complicated to readjust. And if there is a chance I'm not keeping this bag, I don't want to mess with it, you know? But again, there is no bulging with these Palen bags. As a shoulder bag, the height makes much a lot more sense. Um, but then, of course, I feel the weight more. I I like it. I, I, I really like this bag. So last on the list is the Palen Tonka bag. This thing is so cute. Again, this is in the camel color and it is full grain calf skin leather, textured leather. Um, and this was also handmade in Spain. I really liked the funky kind of shape to it. I thought it was really unique and it seemed like it'd be a really cool kind of saddlebag to walk around the city with. This dust bag is the best dust bag I've ever seen. Um, coming right out of the bag, I noticed a few things. Obviously the quality is great. Um, there were, again, no issues with any of the hardware or the leather on the Palen bags itself, but this strap is not pebbled leather and it's not really the same. The color might be the same, but because the leather is a different texture from the strap, it kind of looks like a color blocking situation, a neutral color block. Let's go ahead and get started with what fits in the Tonka. So everything did fit um, and it closes. Again, you see, I think it's just because I'm overpacking my bags, but you do see a little bit of bulging. It's still not that bad. A little bit. Um, I would say this bag does stand on its own. So it's a little bit more practical than the berry in that sense. But if you're on the go, or you stuff a lot into your purse. I think this purse would really be great if you don't carry as many big items as I do. Um, it's still in the running. I'm not gonna totally eliminate it. It's just, I don't want to have to hassle so much. Like if I'm on the go and I have to put my wallet back in, the minute I take out my wallet and everything goes crazy, I can't just stuff it back in there. You see? So it's definitely something to think about. This bag is, I really love the shape of it on. It is such a cool saddle bag. It curves to my body. <laughs> all right, so now that we've seen all four bags, I am so curious. This is a two part question. First part is, which one would you choose? I would love to know because I feel like I'm gonna get 
overruled here. I feel like I'm definitely going to get overruled. And second question is, which one do you think I chose? <laughs> you guys caught me looking real comfortable out here. Real comfortable. It's fine. This is my morning hair. This is me. Take me as I am. Um, so I slept on it. <laughs> I, I slept on it and it was a lot to think about. Like I had, you know, I, everything looked great on, but ultimately I decided to get rid of all the bags. <laughs> But, but there is a caveat. So I'm getting rid of all the bags, but I am gonna go to the store physically to buy a better quality one. And that is the Kuyana Top Handle Crossbody Bag. Um, so just a quick overview in my decision-making process. I felt like even though the Polen bags were beautiful, they're stunning, Polen just felt very impractical. Now that's not to say that I won't buy a Polen bag in the future. I I have my eye on two um, for the winter. The Kuyana bags. The reason I'm gonna return the version of the top handle, well, let me cover the mini double loop first. I just didn't feel like it could stand up to the day to day. Um, I just had an issue with the shipment of Kuyana bags and that's, you know, to, go into the top handle. That's why I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna rearrange my approach um, with what I stuff in my bag. I'm gonna get a card holder. I'll make a future video on that. And I am going to protect the leather and get leather cleaner. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and like this video and let me know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future. We cover NYC lifestyle and fashion reviews. Feel free to leave a comment below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.